to another haul of stuff, so lots and lots of bits to show you that I've picked up this month. Most of it, I must be honest, is from Super 7, so there was a lot of stuff I was hoping to grab that I managed to get my hands on. Quite a few pre-orders and stuff like that that came through and then some bits that I bought. Or just to add to the collection rather than particularly wanting it, but I'll go through it all anyway. A lot of this stuff I have paid for myself, but I did receive a few items free and I will show you and tell you as I go through. And then some other items that were massively discounted for review purposes and stuff like that. A bit. All right, so if some of this stuff is a little bit dusty, I do apologize, but this first item was something I wasn't particularly looking for, but more keeping an eye out for the right price. And it is one of these PCS statues. It is a Lord Draken. These don't often come up in the UK very often. So a friend of mine sent me this and found it on eBay. I paid around about what retail price originally was when this figure was sold. So I was a little bit meh about it, but to be honest, this is the only one I've seen being sold in the UK since I've been grabbing these. So I have got a lot more of them. If you watched my last one, I did get a black one. And before that, I think it was a Goldar. So another one to add to the collection. I was happy with that. Like I say, it's a bit of a shame I did pay pretty much retail, but I know how this collecting thing goes, so sometimes, unfortunately, that does happen. But yeah, really, really nice statue. The detail in it's good. I like his pose, so he's gonna look great on the display. I also picked up my comic subscription this month as well, so we've got a few of those. I'm very, very behind on these. I haven't read a lot of them. The company that I'm usually buy through are shutting down, so I think that might be the end of my comic book collecting just because I've got so many of them and I just haven't read them but I might finish off the ones I've got so including Ranger Academy number 11 and number 12 got Power Rangers Prime and lastly across the Morphin Grid so again I haven't really read many of these to be honest I'm very well behind so I might call it a day with them but pleased with those so far Next up, this was an item from Funko. So this is one of their Rewind collections. So it is in like a VHS style box. And it is just a small, almost like a Funko Soda sort of style figure. Comes with a red one and you get a chance of getting a chase. So when you open it up, he may or may not have his helmet on. It does come with a little card inside. He's a little bit smaller than the Funko Sodas. So if you put them side by side, you can see they kind of are roughly sort of same pose and stuff like that. But um, this one's obviously a lot bigger than this. So these are about 10 pounds and yeah, it's just something a little cool put on display. So yeah, happy with that. Next up was another eBay purchase. So these again, they're not something that I'm collecting, but they are the 5.5 inch movie figures. They do look great. This one is sealed as the other one that I bought a couple of months ago. If you've watched, I think I picked up the pink one. Like I said, this, aren't, this isn't particularly something I'm looking to complete. It's more just because it was there. It was a good price. It was sealed. So I am just picking them up if I see them, but I know the black one's very difficult to find, but it's just cool. Comes with the extra helmet. I probably will just leave this sealed. Back of the box just has a little bit of information on it. So it'll probably just be going as my uh, little vintage shelf down here. And something else I got off of eBay. I literally picked this up because it was a Green Ranger, but hugely, hugely waste of money. I'm not gonna lie. This was like five pound, including postage or something like that. But you kind of turn this inside out, put it on the ground, it pops in the air. Again, huge waste of money. There are some other ones that you can pick up, which I don't intend on doing. In all honesty, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with that. So I'm just gonna kind of forget that I even bought it. This month, I was very fortunate that I received a message on Instagram from Tree New Toys and they were asking if they could send me some figures to take a look at, post them around Instagram and stuff like that. So obviously I wasn't gonna say no because this was something I was looking at buying anyway. It was only a few days before they messaged me very, very nearly ordered these. But they are the Tree New Toys, 112 scale figures. So you've got Green Sun. So this is kind of based off of the Bat in the Sun. They do come with alternative heads and stuff. So quite a few accessories. You can see he's got his Dragon Dagger, Sword of Darkness and all that sort of stuff. They do pose quite well. They move fairly well. They are really nice figures. If you're gonna buy them, I would recommend buying them together. You can save a little bit of money, but you can get them from Toe Collectibles. The head sculpts don't look great, I'm not gonna lie, but they pose really well. Detail on it is very nice. And they did also send me the White Ranger as well. So this looks more to the original. This is obviously uh, just based on the standard White Ranger, which we would expect it to look like. This one I much prefer than the green one, although I'm a massive Green Ranger fan. This just looks beautiful. I actually really, really enjoyed this. I like the sculpt underneath. All the detail in the figure is very nice. And I'm not just saying this for promotion. If I thought these were no good, then I would say they were no good. But these, particularly the white ones, definitely worth picking up. So if you want to pick them up, you can grab them from Toe Collectibles. If you can't find them on there, believe you can still get them on AliExpress. 
Onto the Super 7 lot. So there was quite a few bits I grabbed from Super 7 this month because I was waiting on pre-orders as well. I have reviewed a lot of this, so if you want to check these out, I do have a Super 7's Ultimate playlist. You can go in there and you can see the review for this glow-in-the-dark green ranger. It's come with the accessories. They are in the box in there. Very nice figure. It seems like they have done some improvements to the first one. This one does obviously glow in the dark comes with a couple of different head sculpts so these are more aimed at the good version of Tommy when obviously he's losing his powers and stuff like that so I was happy to pick that up to go with the Green Ranger collection and a part of that wave I did get Vulcan Skull as well so these I've been hugely excited for for a very long time I was constantly watching my pre-order to see if it had been shipped and stuff so Again, I have reviewed these. Very, very nice figures. You've got bulk there. Sorry for the glare. With an extra head sculpt, plenty of the accessories. Same with skull, looking really, really nice. One day when I run out of space, I will probably open all these boxes and display them somehow, but I do think these display a lot better, these ultimate figures inside the box. So absolutely great figures. They are available on the whole shebang. So if you want to check them out, I will leave links in the description for these. So if you're in the UK, you can grab them from there. I believe all these items at the time of this video were in stock. And these next figures, we have got the Deluxe Metallic figures. They are from Super 7. They do use the same body mold as the Ultimate figures. So they are the same size and everything, but they do come in this funky exclusive packaging. So they are a Hasbro Pulse exclusive in the US. I did ask around on Instagram if somebody could help me grab these. Ranger Collector 95 was happy enough to help me out with these. I've got the others on the way. So we did get the white one i will be reviewing these soon so i'll review these two together and then i'll do the other main five rangers separately but nice metallic figures more of an old school look so they've got the he's got the white belt they've both got the old school blasters the little white ones that you got in the 90s with a nice gray weapon definitely nostalgic great pickup obviously i had to get the red one as well now i'm just waiting on the other four so there's the red one. He also comes with a sword and a little gun. They've got the coins in the middle, just like they did in the 90s. Keeping theme with that, I did pick these up. So they are the con exclusive Super 7 Reaction figures. And considering the triangle boxes that come with the deluxe figures, I had to grab these. So huge thank you to the whole shebang. They did supply me these at a hugely reduced rate. And I mean like almost nothing to help me out so huge thanks to them these are just reaction figures but they do come with the little coin in the middle fitting with the 90s as you can see by the packaging they do obviously come with a weapon as well and they were exclusive to some sort of comic con in the us i can't remember exactly what it was because they've been out a little while so they are a bit of a pain to find but if you're in the uk and you want to grab these head over to the whole shebang where they are in stock and on sale now and you can pick up all five of these so you've got the red one the black one the pink one, the blue one, and the yellow one. So again, I'll leave links in the description for those and huge thanks as always to the whole shebang. Moving on to some more of the expensive stuff. Just a couple more items to go and then we're done. But I did grab this Toys Battalion 1 6 scale MMPR 95 movie based figure. Obviously this is a Pink Ranger. She doesn't come with her Thunder Whip or whatever it was called. Very, very nice figure. Again, I have reviewed this. So if you want to check that out, it is on my channel. And I completed the team by grabbing the yellow one as well. So she's is a little bit bright, but she looks very nice. I like the detail on the helmet. The shape of the helmet is really, really good. Again, nice one six scale figures. So if you've seen any of the reviews or any of my previous videos, you will roughly know a little bit about these. I can stop spending money on those for now and uh, wait for the one twelfth scale figures, which do come with the different coins in the chest. And obviously the size difference is probably between those, to be honest. And the last thing for this month, I will just show this, which I probably won't do in the future, because I'm probably going to do a how-to video or a little build video on this fan home, build a Megazord, whatever it's called. So it's 120 issues, you subscribe, and every month if you split it over 12 months, it's like £110 or around just over £100. And you get the whole thing built in a year, it does come to like two foot or something like that. Lots of different freebies on the way does work out very expensive. You can split it over 24 months, which I've done, just so I can keep my collection going at the same time. It's around about 60 pound a month, apparently, but the first two issues are 199. So if you are interested in seeing the step-by-step -step build, and I will do it monthly, let me know in the comments below, because if I have something people are interested in, that I will be 
putting that onto the channel. I'll put it into a nice little playlist and stuff so anybody in the future can have a little look through it. It does come with little electronics so it should light up its eyes and stuff like that. The first two issues come with a magazine each of a how-to. It's got some facts and some pictures and stuff like that and it also has a little poster book which has got a picture of what it's going to look like at the end. If you subscribe, you get like a big base with it and stuff. A little bit of information about the Power Rangers. And then it does also tell you the free gifts that you get inside. And then has a big poster of some detail of the figure and what it's going to look like and whatever. So yeah, two foot tall, little electronic thing. Couldn't say no to that. So to wrap up this video, lots of MMPR based stuff, which is probably going to be common for me at the moment, especially as we're not really getting much more. I'm waiting for like free zero stuff, like the uh, Zero Rangers and things like that. I've got some more pre-orders going, so I'm waiting for those. But for now, I'm going to continue just to fill gaps. Hope that I can find space for it all, see whatever happens in the future. At the moment, I'm really enjoying this Super 7 stuff, as you can tell, and the Toys Battalion, so we'll just see how we go with that. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing. I have got quite a few reviews coming very, very soon, so if you want to see those, keep checking out the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!